Hey guys, my name is Cole Zarek. Welcome to another sampling video. I've showed you guys how to sample it in the most simple way. I've showed you guys how to assign it to your MIDI keyboards and hit the blend, 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 blend it. Showed you guys how to do that. Now I want to show you guys how to distort the crap out of just change the sample that you're using to make it sound completely different and like create a new instrument ultimately is our goal here. If you guys enjoy this video, if you learn something, hit like and subscribe for more content. I make videos like this all the time. I would love to have you. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's going on? This video is sponsored by DistroKid. DistroKid is an online music distributor. That means if you made a song and you're an artist and you want to get it on iTunes, Spotify, Google, Amazon, Tidal, they'll get it on all those locations. Within a day, I uploaded a new song that I wasn't going to get on Spotify because it costs too much. And I don't make enough on streams for it to even out. I would lose money, so it wasn't an option for me. But DistroKid, I uploaded it and it got on to Google Music within hours. On to Spotify within another hour. They sent me a cute little email. They're like, hey, your, your song is now live. Look at that. Now it's on Spotify. Now it's on iTunes. Within hours, within less than 24 hours of when I submitted it. Guys, it's $20 a year. That's crazy compared to $10 per song. They simplify it and streamline the whole process. It's unlimited uploads for $20 a year. I'm switching, I'm, I'm uploading right now, I'm uploading another s album that expired on a other distributor. So I'm switching to DistroKid. So if you guys want a cheap option to get a song that you made onto Spotify, onto iTunes, start building a following, start actually making money from people clicking play and listening and streaming your music because you keep 100% of the revenue at DistroKid. So go check it out. There's a link in the description. If you click the link at the top of the description, it has my promo code on it and you'll get 7% off. So click the link in the top of the description. I hope you guys get a lot out of this like I have. That's gonna do it for this promo. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's learn how to sample. Let's get into it. Right, so what I have here is just two simple samples. One of them is the instrumental melodic and the other one are the drums. Let's just give it a listen and then we'll see how we can tweak it and improve it. If you guys recognize, this is from is the sample from uh, Kendrick Lamar's "Sing About Me." I'm dying of thirst. I've always wanted to use it. So, I, and then we have some saxophone. I've always wanted to use that sample, so I figure why not? Now, this beat has a a couple problems with it, and I think I know how to fix them. Um, the rhythm of the melodic, there's some drums in the background of this sample. So you can hear in the background, you can kind of hear the, the percussion drums, and we don't want that. We want this to just be our melodic, while this one can be sharper and louder and um, act as our drums, of course. There are drums. So let's go in, and the way we're going to change it is... Let me let me let me listen to it. Let me listen to this sample and see the best ways to change it. So I really love what I love about the sample is the the bass you can hear. So I'm just gonna go ahead. All right. So what I'll do, I'll go in, and I really want to mess with the EQ. So let's go ahead and cut everything from 40. I'm gonna cut a lot of the highs too, so we can hear just the bassiness. I'm gonna turn up the bass. I feel like this could use some reverb. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do my platinum reverb. Let's just throw some reverb onto it. Ooh, I like what it did to that. I'm gonna 
throw some reverb on that. I'm actually, I'll, I'll do what every person who samples loves to do is I'm going to change the pitch and um, I'm going to go into my pitch shifter. I'm going to set this to zero. Then I'm going to turn the mix all the way to a hundred and then I'm going to see what it might sound really nice if you just drop the pitch down. It's kind of neat. If you go too far down, it really distorts it to the point of to the point where it distorts it too much. In my opinion, it distorts it too much. Maybe three. All right, let's just stick with that. We haven't used, we haven't messed with the drums yet. So let's actually go ahead and see what we can do with the drums. Drums, I'm gonna go straight to EQ. So I wanna turn up the natural bass so we can hear the on the on the kicks we want to hear the natural intensify the kicks I also think it's a bit sharp so I'm going to turn the highs down and then I'm probably going to make this extra sharp recommend just playing around when you're in the equalizer and you have a sample just see what you can create simply by dragging this simply by just messing around with it I like that all right so let me show you how you can really just destroy the sample and change it up completely now, I'm not using any special plugins, stuff that you have to buy, stuff that you have to get download from a third party website. This is all just from Logic. Everything that I'm doing is something you can do right now. So go into modulation and then go into rotor cabinet. This is just one of the various things I use to tweak samples. All right, let's try a new one. Let's go to filter. Let's go to fuzz wah. This is another interesting one I love throwing on a sample and just seeing how it affects it. Ooh. This is interesting. And once I find some just I just cycling through stuff, I tweak it. And guys, all you have to do is just mess with the dials and see how it changes the sound that you're creating. We already just drastically changed it just by shifting this one thing. Guys, sometimes when you you click on one of these and it looks really, really... Actually, this, this one's not as bad, but it, when you click on a plugin and it looks really crazy, just focus on one knob. Just focus on one knob and just go like this a lot. See how it changes it. And if you don't like it, put it back where you found it. <laughs> That's literally all you have to worry about. Go on to another knob. See how it changes it. Go from the one extreme to the other extreme see how it shifts it it's super it's a lot of fun whoa that sounds weird that's cool i like it now it distorts the saxophone but the saxophone normally it stands out sometimes too much so i like how it kind of suppresses the saxophone and it distorts it, but you can still tell it's a saxophone. You can still hear it. You rappers are falling off sooner or later. That's procrastination. Man, as soon as you face it, the last time is wasted. Man, someone had to say it. No, I made a speed and someone had to slay it. Stick us with defeated. No, I'm not debated. No, I haven't been apologizing lately. Coming with it with the pile driver. Baby, media filling the hard drive. Had to go buy for terabyte. All of these rappers look terrified. Hey, all of these rappers look terrified. Hey, this beat is sad. <laughs> oh, this is stupid fun.
What are you guys up to? I'm chilling watching YouTube, making beats, man. Just learning more. Just This is dope. Yo, I think we found it. But just in case, I would love to show you guys some of the other techniques that I use on top of these other plugins. I love using Bitcrusher. I think it's interesting and weird and different. Makes it sound like an old uh, retro arcade game. I love Rotor Cabinet. I love Fuzzwa. I love Bitcrusher. If you're if you're using a sample and there's like drums on it and you don't want the drums, um, a really good way is to go into your EQ and then hit single band EQ. It's a really simple way. And then once you're there, you click high cut. What that basically does is that makes it from makes the sound being really bright and really sharp uh, to something more 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 like <laughs> I sound stupid right now, but it makes it. Um, less sharp and it drowns out the drums that you don't want a part of it. So as an example, this is without that and this is how it sounds with it. Cuts all the highs. Use the chorus plugin to make it sound more open and spread it out and widen it. You can use the phaser phasing in and out of your ears going from right to left. Use this Flanger plugin and make it sound more tinny, more metal. Not actual metal music, but just actual metal. There's tons of weird ways that you guys can throw something on a sample. Make it sound weird, make it sound better, make it sound worse. But let me know if you guys have any techniques that I haven't heard of, or maybe some plugins that you guys use to affect your guys' samples. Let me know in the comment section. I always try to hit you guys up if you guys comment and reply if you guys got questions or ideas for new videos or what you guys want to learn le next I read all the comments but I always try to let you guys in on my secrets some guy asked me what sample I was using for my outro it's memory by Grover Washington jr I love that artist I love sampling him um, I'm an open book I'm not keeping anything from you guys I hope you appreciate uh, the secrets I let you guys in on and uh, let me in on some secrets of yours. Comment in, in the comment section below. But that'll do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.